the state action. Titans and the Railers getting ready to tip. Yep, it's Brock and Fuchs ready to jump. Ball is tipped, controlled by the Railers. They will be moving to the basket to our right, the end that has the, uh, the water spot, so we'll try and keep an eye on that. But the Railers' first possession here. Down in the corner, Horsham. Looking down low for Bowlby. He's not there. Podbelsic pops out high. Cook on top to Horsham. Will thought about the three, didn't take it. Max down in the corner to Horsham. Yeah, the Titans start out man-to-man, -man, a different man-to-man -man than we saw Friday. Uh, more, not quite as on you, but uh, more pack line, and in the middle, they're going to help by everywhere you can. Railers have run 30 seconds off on this possession. Gavin with the fake, and Gavin's going to be called four steps on the uh, shot fake as a Fuchs closed out on him. Gavin, a little bit of a shuffle, and first turnover of the night goes to the Railers. Railers with the pressure in the backcourt. Allen inbounds to Fuchs. Now Allen gets it back. Watched by Pod Belsick. Junior brings it into the front court with little difficulty. Machini on top to McAdams. Down in the corner. Allen spots for three. It's on the way and up and good. Yeah, that can't happen. That's, uh, you got to feel the screen. Bulby on the backside has got to feel that screen coming. He saw uh, Peyton Allen run in the corner. And he's going to shoot it if he gets that wide open. And more times than not, he's going to knock it down. Yeah, the two shooters you got to watch are McAdams and Allen. And that open, they're not going to miss too many shots. Bobby swinging around the corner. Blocks three. That's long, no good. Rebound comes down to McAdams for the Titans. Josh, we talked about rebounding, how key that was for the Railers here tonight. Yeah, good look, too, by uh, Gavin. He's been shooting the ball pretty well, better than uh, to start the season. And uh, just couldn't uh, just couldn't get it to knock down. McAdams dribbles down, and a reach-in foul is going to be whistled. I think they're going to get that one on Max Cook. And that'll be the first foul of the contest, first on the Railers. And what they're doing is they're screening our point guard on our defense. And then the middle, the uh, the guy that uh, goes out, the wing guy has to cover cover the other guy. That's off him. Nice job as they throw it away as uh, Horsham and... Brown were fighting for it. Brown caught it, but kind of awkwardly, and Horsham got his arm up in there and knocked it away off of Brown's leg, out of bounds, so it'll be Horsham inbounding for the railer. Yeah, we'll have to make an adjustment. A lot of teams try to try to screen that top guy, and then it's just another guy has got to recover, so uh, the railer's going to have to fight around the screens. High post to Gavin, turning, looking. Bowlby in the corner. Can he answer? High arcing three off the back of the rim, but Pod Belsa gets the rebound over McAdams. And then Bowlby and Block were both there. Cook's pass went in between them. And they each thought the other was going to catch it. Another turnover by the Railers. Yeah, the time where uh, you've just got to catch it. Somebody's got to catch it. And uh, you look at one and the other looks at you. And by the time you do that, the ball's out of bounds. So uh, not a good start so far for the Railers. But uh, then again, it's just 3 nothing. Round on the baseline. Back out to Allen. Open for another three. That's up and good again. An early six from Peyton Allen. Of course, the Railers got down 10 nothing to Southeast. Maybe they're just waiting to get that comfort zone. Yeah, and it, and it was it was Herman Senior who did it on Friday, the, their best player too. So uh, you, you got to think the coaches has, has uh, told them a few times that Peyton Allen can shoot it. Uh, Belsick tries a three. That misses badly. Rebound down to Brown. Right now, the three is not going down for the Railers, and that's the only shots they're getting as Glenwood at the 5:15 mark comes down with a 6-0 lead. Fuchs tries to kick it out to Machini. Allen with the catch over to McAdams in the right corner. Flips it inside. Fuchs the lefty on the dribble. Down the lane. Pull up from 14. Bounces off the back of the rim. No good. Bowlby the rebound for the Railer. Yeah, defensively, we're just not moving like we were Friday night. Uh, we're not getting uh, getting out on the guys, and we're not, uh, we're just our feet aren't as quick. Max thought about going up for a shot. Lost it. Now it's a two-on-one break. McAdams flips it over. Fuchs with the left hand. Missed it. Rebound comes down to Pod Belsick. Yeah, easy one for Chatham. Railers got lucky there, and uh, and they should they should have had down another two points. Hi, right, Belsick on the right wing, watched by Mick Adams, dribbling on the baseline. Bowlby stepped on the baseline; they didn't catch it. Horsham's three, top of the key, left it short. Ball on the floor, still fighting for it, and we've got Adlin and Block tied up. The alternating possession will send it back to Glenwood. And you know, Josh, we talked last week against Southeast. It seemed like the Spartans were trying to speed the Railers up. Right now, it seems like we're just a step slow. Yeah, we're, our feet aren't moving. We're, we're not as quick right now as we were, and it looks like now we're going to try and match up a little bit in the 1-2-2 two, two and speed them up a little bit. But we got to get something going. we got to get some momentum going to the basket 
uh, what four threes already attempted now, and that's the only shot we've attempted is three, and we're not on right now. Matchini out for Glenwood, six foot junior Isaac Albrock into the game. Fuchs at the top of the key. He's going to dribble in, pull up from 15, too easy, up and good. An 8-0 lead for the Titans as we're halfway through. And it was just about the halfway mark of the first quarter last week when the Railers finally got on the board. Yeah, this isn't a good uh, repetitious thing to be doing, getting down 8, 10 points to start the game. We were able to come back, but against good teams, it's hard too. Hudbelsic over to Bowlby on the right wing. Between the circles to Horsham, looked at the three, didn't take. Now over to Block, skips it over to the top to Pod Belsick, gets by McAdams, pull up from 17, Will won't get it to go down, Allen the rebound. Yeah, again, nothing to the basket, another jump shot for the Railers, where uh, they're getting them at 15, we're getting them at 18. Three and a half to go, first quarter, Allen pulls up a long three, missed it badly off the right side, and Bowlby with the rebound. Max will hold it. At the jump circle, looks to make a move against Brown. Spins in the lane, kicks back out to Hersham. Can he break the streak? Spins out, rebound to Glenwood. One and done for the Railers here so far in the first quarter. Yeah, we've done a pretty good job of offensive rebounding uh, early on in the season, too. McAdams, his first three is no good. Fighting for the rebound. It is Albrocht and Horsham. It goes off of Glenwood. So the Railers still looking for their first points. 2.57 to go in the first quarter. Glenwood with an 8-0 lead. We've always talked about when you're not shooting the ball well from the outside, you got to be aggressive. you got to do something different and get to the hole, maybe a post up or something. Bulby's got size on his guy. Let's try and get him in the post and get to uh, get an easy basket. Gavin turns from 16 is good. First points for the Railers. 8-2. See if the Railers can use some defense to turn it offense. Allen into the front court, finds Fuchs, top of the key, turning and looking, finds Brown in the right corner, Bowlby checks out on him. Fuchs turns, dribbles in, pull up, 14 foot lefty off the back of the rim, no good, block the rebound for the railer. Yeah, they're almost giving Fuchs that shot, he's made one, missed two, and uh, we're so uh, worried about Peyton Allen that, uh, that we haven't been able to get on Fuchs, but I think he can hit that shot too. They tried to get it inside on a nice pass down low to Todd Belsick. The Glenwood fans across the way thought that Will might have tipped it a little bit. Coach Blakeman's in agreement with them, but not the officials. And the Railers will keep possession down 8-2 as we hit the two-minute mark of the first quarter. Yeah, Bobby has got a size advantage on uh, number four, Isaac Albright. He's going six foot. Bobby is six four. We got to get him. Uh, we got to get him inside. There he is again. Kevin fakes from 15, kicks it out to Todd Belsick, but a bad, bad pass. And Austin Cruz is going to be checking in, and i got to believe he's coming in for Gavin. Yeah, too many turnovers are early, uh, just not strong with the ball. One thing, you had to be strong and quick last Friday night. Tonight, you just got to be overly strong. And uh, the Railers right now, way too many turnovers. Uh, I believe now five turnovers for the Railers. And uh, something you don't normally see, Coach Alexander has slid down on the bench, and he's sitting next to Gavin, and uh, he's uh, getting his point across to the, uh, the sophomore. One and a half to go. They dump it down. Nice down low pass to Albrecht with the reverse layup. That's no good. Yeah, nice box out by uh, by the Railers, too. Lots of contact under there. No call. Max pulls up. His three on the way. Back rim, no good. Out on the rebound for the Titans, and they head the other way. Allen to McAdams on the left side. Dump it down to Fuchs. Brown had a good look at a three. Didn't take it. Fuchs. At the wing, will dribble in the little floater. This one will not go down. Austin Cruz, a rebound in his first action here tonight. Odd Belzik on the right wing as we're under a minute. Railers down 8-2. Yeah, I think he can really lay off. Brown just comes in the game averaging three points. He doesn't even look to shoot it from the outside. So the Railers really got to concentrate mainly on Allen, Fuchs, and, uh, and also McAdams. Odd Belzik to Cruz. Hands off to Bowlby. Railers running a little bit of a weave out high. Now they get it. Top of the key over to Cruz. Austin looking out to Max, down to 30 seconds to go. Maybe you can get an easy basket. Remember the lob play we used to run to uh, Christian. To Christian, yeah, it'd be nice. Uh, it, you know, as bad as we played in shots, to be only down four if you can get a big basket here. Down 15 seconds now. Max between the circles to Pod Belsick. Over to Bowlby. Watched by Albrock on top. There's Horship. We're down to eight. Railers down, 8-2. Max down to five. 
to Horsham. Tyler checks the clock to Max. Max spins back to Tyler. Tyler firing three on the way. Good. At the buzzer, Horsham. Our score at the end of one. It is Glenwood eight, Lincoln five. Back with the second quarter in a moment. One minute. You're listening to Lincoln Railer Basketball.